What's up, everybody? Hey, we are coming at you again, and we want to talk Detroit Lions defense. We want to talk the defense. Look, we all know and feel pretty comfortable with the offense. I, I think we're getting there. We're feeling better about the weapons we have. But did the defense improve enough. We didn't make any big splashes. The most money we spent was on a wide receiver in free agency. So the question is, did we do enough on defense? Chris, I'm going to throw it over to you first, and I'm going to ask you a simple yes or no question. You can say kind of, I guess, but that's a cop out. Everybody will think you're a wuss. Did we do enough? I, I think we did enough to get What's our goal? I think our goal is to get in the in the middle third of defenses just to give ourselves a chance. You want top twenty? I think, yeah, I mean, because I can't think. I don't think we really realized how bad we were last year. I was looking it up. <laughs> we were last in three and outs. We were Ooh. second second to worst in total defense points scored. I mean, so we are the really? bottom. It wasn't like, hey, our defense is bad. It's there. We're at the bottom. The and we're not. Yeah, we're not creating turnovers. We're not. I mean that. It, that is just football. You you have to do something to stop the other team, whatever, right? So did we get better than that? I think we are. I think, you know, I okay. think we are. I think we we did enough to to get better. But, man, you still look at it. You said it. We didn't make any splash signings. Um, yes, we were, thankfully got Hutchinson, um, fell to us. Then we took another D lineman, and we have two D linemen from last year that really need to play better. So, so it is very much a huge question mark can those guys develop can guys with big injuries come back so right for me i think it is yes but is it enough i don't know i don't know if our offense is good enough to overcome it um what about you do you do you just feel good based on our signings do you feel like we're going to be better or is it going to be uh, enough in your eyes as well i feel like we're going to be better but i don't think it's enough mm. and i think the reason i don't think it's enough i'm just trying to be a realist here at some point you can we, we're going to pull up the depth chart here. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I think as we go through the depth chart, there are too many what ifs for it to be enough. So yep. if Aiden Hutchinson plays like a top 10 defensive end in this league, yeah, we did enough. If Josh Pascal is a good um, rotational player, great. That was a good move. If Levi Anwuzurike plays like everybody says his body has changed and he is going to be a beast, yeah, we did enough, but it's what if. If Aleem McNeil takes a step in his second season, we did enough. If Jared Davis, who we signed, ends up fitting in the system, we did enough. But, like, there are so many what ifs. If Jeff Okuda is healthy mm. and is improved off what he was from the last time we saw him. So, like, it's all these things where there has to be a lot of fill in the blanks. It, it has to be a yep. we're good at cornerback if. We're good at linebacker if we're good on the defensive line, if for the defensive line, it's if the rookies pan out for linebacker, it's if someone steps up above what they should, like it literally, it has to be above what they should. In other words, Malcolm Rodriguez comes in day one as a starter or, um, you know, Derek Barnes, it clicks in year two at the defensive back position. It's we're good. If Jeff Okuda is healthy and playing well, and um, same with Jerry Jacobs. And does Will Harris actually work at safety or at cornerback? And is Jeff Okuda sick? Like there are so many what ifs. So does that does that make sense? Yeah. I'm trying not to be super Kool Aid friendly here because well, I think it's yeah. Too much. I if you have 11 players on defense, I think at any given time we're looking at probably eight of the 11. You're like. I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh -huh. And I'm really, I need you. I need coaching to be well. I need you to be healthy. I need you to be in the right, you know, a lot of thing has, a lot of things have to go well. And I always, sure. like when you look at bad team, like I think the analytics has really like brought this to my attention is like when you're bad and you're, like things are working against you. It's like, it's almost like you're at the casino. The casino has the edge. You need a yes. lot to go right. You just, decrease your, your margin of error is just not there and so right we just cannot make mistakes and so that you know that stuff just really is glaring to us as lions fans because yeah we can't make those mistakes so when you do leave a guy a little bit open they catch it and not, you know it, it everything is a lot harder so you just don't have that margin for error everything's kind of stacked against you right now and hey can you get hot can you kind of find a, a thing that works absolutely but 
in general, it's just like it feels like we're just not there defensively. Um, and it's it's like, man, because it's too bad because our offense is looking good. It is too bad. It feels like the defense this year is kind of where the offense was in the back half of last year, where it's like, oh, they're close, but it's just not enough firepower to actually be mm -hmm. consistently good. And it feels like the defense is one year away. And the only reason I see I say a year away, if everybody remains healthy and half of the what ifs become, yeah, yep. then That's it could right. be a decent, you know, we could be 18, 19, 20, 21 defense, 22, maybe, you know, like where it's like, get you by, get you by mm -hmm. defense and then getting even better next year. But if those what ifs don't pan out and you have just a couple injuries, especially at key places, we could be hurting for sure. Oh. Oh, that, that's a, that's a great point. You don't have some of those um, what ifs pan out, and then all of a sudden Aiden's down for four weeks, and it's just injuries you know, will like, happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's right. Like, Which is going. Ifs, that's another win. point that just the depth and the overall. I mean, there's going to be two or three guys going down by week two. You're going to be, two, you know, it, and it's just like, and that's where again, as Lions fans, we've just sat there and watched these injuries that. Yes, I, I do feel like we've had more injuries than most, but at the same time, yeah. because it's like devastating rag now. I mean, it, we don't have the depth. We don't have I mean, we, we had a team in the, in the Quinn Trisha era that was just totally different. They they truly believed in like just be mediocre ish and we'll we are so smart. We'll, you know, just whatever. Yes. It's, it's all different. And we're like, we want to be explosive. All the right things Brad Holmes is doing. Anyway, that's a whole new team. It's just, you're, you're ripping apart the team and just, just only a year ago. So to even have a chance, even be in the discussion of like, dude, look at our schedule. Like we can do yeah. some, like we're in a good place. I think that's where Lions fans are so optimistic is it's not necessarily next year. It's just for the whole future and pu and just kind of picture of what's going on. Okay. So I said a, a lot of things there. I was kind of rambling, but my point is we're good. I don't know if we're good enough defensively. You are rambling. I was sticking with you. Do you still have that depth chart? Can you pull that yeah. back up? Cause I want to play a fun game here. So you talked about the Quintricia error era. And um, you, you talked about how it's like, we're good with mediocre, but we're so smart. We'll make it good. Here's yep. the thing that I do have faith in with this coaching staff. They're obsessed with building talent from within. Mm -hmm. So they're obsessed with it. So are you confident? Are you confident that Jared Davis will be better this year than he was two years ago when he played for us? Oh, absolutely. Same. I, I are you know. confident? Will Harris will be better this year than last year. I am confident he will be better. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean a lot. Right. I mean, like, I am confident that Levi Onuzurike will be better. I'm yes. confident that Aline McNeil will be better. I'm confident that, that there's a lot of guys that I'm confident will continue to progress. That's a good thing. And I think we have to we have to realize, like, there's something to be said about developing from within. There's a, a reason teams point. like Baltimore have good defenses every single year, and it's because they have good coaching staffs that develop from within, and they take guys that are supposed to be guys, and they make them dudes, yep. you know, and, and they might not make them the man, but they make guys dudes, and they make dudes the man. And if this coaching staff can do that, then that's another what if, but if they can do that, then we're looking better. The, dude, that's so. a great point, and that's – well said. I mean, because how are these franchises so good year after year? I mean, it, you're right. just you're not doing that much movement free agency. You know what I'm saying? And so just to have it right. year after year it has to be the development. So you and I've hit on that. And that's that's like that five prong. You know, you got your GM, your development, your coaching, your play. You know, all that stuff is like well, it's in place. Like this yes. is time to go. It's it could, we could do it. And if we trust it. Let's trust in the process and let's not freak out if we only get six wins or if our defense is number 27 again this year. Right. In fact, let's almost celebrate it because we're another, we have a pick again, it'll be higher and it'll allow us to keep Glenn as defensive coordinator for That's another right. year because another team might not pick up on him, even <laughs> though he's very good just because we're lack of talent. So, uh -huh. Hey, if you uh, watch this video all the way to now hit the subscribe button, uh, when you do that, you'll just get notifications that our videos are out. Um, so you won't miss them. We do content on the Pistons. We do content on the lions, uh, almost and pretty much daily. So I'd love to have you here and uh, we'll see you with the next video.